share of rain. Luckily, not too much of that flood, flood, those flooding problems. Over an inch, though, of rain has fallen for a big chunk of our area, and we've seen that over the last two days or so, two and a half days, kind of depending on where you're at. So those showers are still possible today. We still have some of them falling as we speak. Uh, we will eventually clear out a little bit more from west to east gradually throughout the rest of the day here, bringing us at least a little bit of sunshine for some of us for the afternoon before more of that rain and unsettled weather is back for the next couple of days. This system is the same one that brought us that rain earlier this week, the same one that is dumping rain along the mid-Atlantic and parts of the northeast here. And again, some showers that are mainly light but pretty steady in the Northeast Kingdom right now and spotty over southern Vermont, heavier and steadier showers over central Vermont and parts of New York still too. So Keene uh, down towards North Hudson, probably you guys getting a little bit of a break soon. Bristol though, Starksboro up towards Montpelier, some heavier rain at the moment there. Uh, and then towards Brandon, right down seven towards Rutland, gonna find some heavier rain at the moment. So again, not finding this move out just yet. Uh, and so is the humidity sticking around too. 76 degrees right now in Burlington, 73 Plattsburgh, 77 Lebanon. So we're still pretty warm considering all this rain. Uh, but again, it's that soupy, oppressive warmth. And you can really see that by our dew points. When we talk about these dew points that are in the 70 degree range, that's essentially what we would refer to as tropical air and oppressive air. And that's why it has felt so heavy and hard to uh, really move through that air because it has been so high, that humidity. So dew points well into the 70s. They eventually drop a little bit overnight tonight, maybe slightly better sleeping weather if you don't have AC overnight tonight. Uh, but we're right on the edge of that really humid muggy air for tomorrow and all the way through Saturday too. As you can see your dew points remaining kind of in the mid 60s. So yeah, still a little bit sticky out there, but better, especially by Sunday as those dew points finally fall back down into the 50s and by then it should be feeling a little better today though still muggy and we still have some of those showers watch out for a quick little thunderstorm still not out of the question today i think when more of that sun comes out we do have a pretty good chance to get it at least into the low 80s later this evening and there will be more of that again from west to east as the day goes on overnight tonight 70s and eventually down into the 60s and some patchy fog as you're waking up and headed out the door tomorrow here again are those showers slowly exiting it's just going to take some patience as you can see the drier air eventually Eventually shifts overhead and we'll have partly to mostly clear skies overnight tonight. I mentioned some patchy fog as you're headed out the door on Friday morning. Friday afternoon, not a washout, but we do have more rain on the way. Starting around midday or so, you're going to find a few spotty showers, maybe a little quick thunderstorm. And as the day goes on, a better chance for central and eastern portions of Vermont to find some stronger thunderstorms rolling through. Still kind of on the edge on how strong they will be, but definitely expect some downpours out of that thunder and lightning and some gusty winds at the least. And then on Saturday, morning we're drying up again doesn't last because the afternoon will bring a period of more scattered showers uh, but it is again going to bring us some a little bit of relief from the humidity even more so on Sunday. So still you guys with these rain chances, not necessarily a bad thing, especially because our storm threat is relatively low uh, and we still have that mugginess to deal with. Sunday and Monday are the winners. It's going to be a lot nicer by then before more rain is back by the middle of next week.